Gentlemen, it appears that the whole world's concerned about little Muttnik flying around out there in space. Dr. Speck, what can you tell us about her chances for survival? Well, I uh, believe her chances for survival are probably quite good. I don't know the engineering problems in bringing such a vehicle back, but while out in space, uh, the animal can be given enough oxygen and the carbon dioxide which is produced can be removed and I believe uh, he can be kept at a proper temperature. These are really only engineering problems and quite soluble. Uh, I think one of the most serious problems is a matter of what to do about the heat which is generated in the capsule and the heat and other energy which is received on the outside of the capsule from the sun and uh, other radiation. Well, one other concern about uh, this hound of heaven uh, is her diet and how she's going to eat and how long she'll be able to eat. Dr. Mickelson, what can you tell us about that? Perhaps the most important uh, consideration is the amount of water that the animal will be able to get. An animal and a man can live for a number of uh, days without water, but it can do for a number of weeks without food. So water would probably be the most important factor in this dog's survival. And how do you uh, induce these animals to eat while they're flying around in space? Would you have any ideas on that? This can probably be done by a number of ways. The easiest would be to have a tube in the animal's stomach, whereby the animal would be fed constantly, either 24 hours a day or during only a period of 8 or 10 hours. Well, if space travel is to become a reality, you're going to have to have food for a reasonable length of time. Uh, can you teach these dogs to eat uh, vitamin pills and things like that? Vitamin pills alone are not going to be sufficient. If they were to be up there for periods of months, they would definitely require uh, food such as we know it here on this level. You're saying there's no substitute for steak, uh, and I'm <laughs> glad to hear it. That's right. <laughs>